Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and I'm excited to be back with a new Two Minute Tuesday after taking the last few weeks off for some vacation and my kids starting school again, uh, but we're back. And in today's video, we're taking a look at how to convert uh, plain single line text in AutoCAD to the more common and usable mText format. I'm also gonna show you a cool tool that's gonna to help you align text to an arc like this one over here within your drawing. This can be helpful for specific drawing cases and keeping text clean along an arc and equally spaced. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down below and let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be taking a look at how to convert single text objects. So I'm gonna select this object here and bring up the properties. You can see it's just a single text object, not a M text or multi text. So you can see clicking in here, it's only a single line. It doesn't have all of the formatting that M text has along with it, like this label over here, for example. Over here, you can do a lot more with it. You can format, you can have multi lines easily, uh, paragraphs, note sections, but these single ones are kind of a pain. So if you move over up top here and switch to the Express Tools uh, ribbon tab and choose the Convert to M Text button, this is going to simply let you choose multiple pieces of text objects and convert them to a single M Text. Hitting Enter does it and you can see now they've been joined including the underline it's kept the formatting it's simply made it an M text object that can easily be edited now from here you can now use all of the standard text editor M text options and another cool trick is the ability to bring multiple lines of text together into a single M text these are all individual text but they're all out of order they're shifted one can be over here, it doesn't really matter. It's going to combine all of these into a single text object and update the formatting properly. So we're gonna use our command again up here, convert to mText or txt to mtxt. By selecting it, it's gonna ask us to select our objects. We're just gonna quick select all of them here and hit enter. You can see it's combined them all into a single mText object creating a fluent and easy to read paragraph as opposed to the broken text. This is gonna come in super handy when say importing a PDF into a drawing and occasionally the AutoCAD text from the PDF gets exploded or broken into single text objects. This is gonna help you bring all of that together and repair labels quickly. Now, if you like this tip and you want to learn a lot more AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows, you can check out my course, which is available now and discounted for all of you, the subscribers, using the link down below, and I'll put a link up above. That's my AutoCAD fundamentals course. It's hours of content packed full of unique and time-saving workflows, tips, tricks, and general productivity hacks for AutoCAD. Again, that link is up above and down below. Now let's move on to the last tip of the video here, and that's how to align a piece of text along an arc. Now this may not be super common, but it can come in handy and it's good to know where this tool is. And since we're already checking out a few of these express tools, I thought it'd be a good one to squeeze in. If you simply create an arc somewhere on your drawing, it doesn't really matter the orientation, the angles, the size, However you would like to align your text, you simply draw an arc. This is gonna make it easy to curve and space your text to follow, say, a pipe or a, uh, an object like a gear or something circular that you want to label along cleanly. Now you're gonna go up here and choose the arc aligned command. It's arc text, if you wanna type that in, A-R-C-T-E-X-T. Now it's gonna ask you to choose your arc. Clicking on it is gonna bring up this little text wizard. From here, you can type in your text, you can choose your text style, as well as a ton of options here on how you want to orient the text. By default, it's going to simply fit it along your arc. Uh, we're just gonna type something in here. Example arc. Let's just go example text. You can choose your text height. 
your width factor, spacing, offset from the arc, all of these settings. You can also change these and I'm gonna show you how after you've already created it. Hitting OK is going to place our arc text in here. Now to modify any of those settings, simply click the button again and choose the text this time to bring up your existing arc aligned text. From here, you can change your heights. Maybe we wanna double the height, go to uh, 14 and hit okay. Now you can see that fits a little better along my arc. And you can see if we move our arc along, the text is now tied to it. This can be super helpful and keep your labels looking clean and equally spaced along your arcs. Again, I want to say thank you to you guys for sticking around, subscribing to the channel, and watching all the videos. I really appreciate it. If you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you want to keep up on all the videos as well as all my blog posts and written content, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, I'll put that link down below in the description. And cheers. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.